And now, none of our pastures are good enough. Oh no, let's go eat over here at Papa's house. You're just like the kids. What does he have that we don't? Get your butt home. I'm calling you. Get your girls. Oh, L. Acting like he wasn't just busted. What on earth? You better hurry home, sir. I don't know if y'all know this, but that is Papa's house, Papa and Gigi's house. And those are my chickens going to Papa's. And not just the chickens, both roosters too. Nate's over there leading the dang way. What the heck? I feed them. I promise you I feed them. I feed them very well, actually. They have beautiful clean water. They have their own space because they didn't like the chicken coop. Nope, had to take that down. They were not interested in that coop. They prefer the barn. Fine, have the barn. I put up special railing. And now, none of our pastures are good enough. Oh no, let's go eat over here at Papa's house. You're just like the kids. What does he have that we don't? Get your butt home. I'm calling you. Get your girls. Oh, L. Acting like he wasn't just busted. What on earth? You better hurry home, sir. Oh, this is why. He just saw Frida out here. Trixie, leave him alone. He just hauled over because he saw one of his girls. I'm all like, man, he's listening well. He ain't listening well. He's coming to get that girl. This is about ridiculous. All my chickens heading over to Papa's. And now these guys are yelling too. Next thing you know, they'll be wanting to go to Papa's. What the world? Okay. <sighs> Betsy, you? Seriously, Betsy, why you? You have it going so good over here. Now y'all are gonna leave? You know, it's dinner time. We're out here feeding and I'm like, I wonder where my chickens are. Mm-hmm. I'll take a couple laps, do some head counts. Uh-huh. And I find them here. This is a road to nowhere. Okay, it really goes to Papa's house, but if I tell them it's to nowhere, maybe they'll come home. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, you don't live here. This is beyond your border. You have crossed the line. Oh, and he's back. L. Oh my gosh. I just have no words right now. You know, when we were kids, I've talked about how we played outside from sunup to sundown. We also had restrictions of where we could go. My grandma lived a few blocks away one way. The park was a few blocks away the other way. And the school was a few blocks away the last way. We had kind of lived on the edge of town. So those were our limits. It was about a two block radius. Not far, far enough though. And most people came to our empty lot, as I talked about. So when I think of these chickens, I feel like they're going beyond the two block radius here. For us, it's the pastures. You've, you've crossed into the unknown land. Nate. Breaking rules here. Out to go exploring and see what's out here. You know what's out here? No good, okay? It's just like what happens in bars after midnight. No good. Nothing good comes after midnight. I will tell you that. Mostly bad decisions. Mostly bad decisions if you're two blocks away or two pastures away. You should come home now. Thank you.
Oh, now they're gonna mess with each other and taunt each other and see who can either stay out longer without getting in trouble or who can make the girls come home. Oh, you two are being naughty to each other. Now they taunt each other often. I've not seen them fight, but I have seen them, you know, try to claim which girls belong to who. Now, Nate has no idea that he's about a third of Elle's size. I'm sorry, it's true. He likes to think he's big. He likes to think that he owns the barn and owns the farm and owns the pastures. And he can yell louder than anybody. But in reality, he weighs less than one pound. Yeah, he is a Sarama or Sarama Bantam, which is the smallest breed of chicken, as I understand. I just thought he was a Bantam. I had no idea that he had his own little title. And when he came here, uh, he actually had a girl that matched him. And um, she did not make it, sadly. She was one of the first ones to pass. But Nate did not let that stand in his way. And I would love to find a partner for Nate that's his own size because um, the rest of these girls are L's size. Now it's never stopped Nate from doing all that he wanted to do, but he just wasn't able to accomplish some of those things that he wanted to do. He had no idea about that either. The girls did though, they knew, which is how L came into our lives. L's real name is L Carpintero which means the carpenter, named by Fidel. He named a rooster after himself. Yeah, what is it with men and naming, Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> so, <sighs> Nate. Nate is, ah, he's, he's up on top of my favorite animals. Hey Maggie, I'm talking about Nate. But he's also my mom's favorite. When my mom came down, she was like, I love Nate. He's the neatest little animal. And he is. He walks around with pride. He is just amazing. Now, Nate was really named after Napoleon because he, he's a little guy and we said that he had Napoleon syndrome. Like I said, though, he doesn't let it get in his way or bother him. He's a still after the ladies, just as always. He grazes, he crows. He crows at 3 a.m., he crows at 4 a.m., he crows at 5 a.m., whatever it takes to be first, he crows. And if you're in his barn, he does not want you there. He will crow and crow and crow even louder until you leave. He does a good job of protecting the property, even though he's a tiny little guy. And we love him. Hi, Hank. You know, you've crossed the line, too. We've sort of gone places that we're not supposed to go. Well, at least you're not supposed to go. It's the danger zone. It is. You think you can go round up those chickens? Oh, Ritzy's here to help too. Man, gang's all here tonight. Ritzy, can you help me with the chickens? She's like, I wonder what Pawpaw's cooking. I don't know what kind of stuff Pawpaw cooks, but it must be amazing because everyone wants to be there. Frida, Betsy, Elle, Come on, we need to go home. It's true, it's time to come home. I love you and there's delicious food waiting. It's time to eat dinner. Nate's already halfway home. Mm-hmm, come on. Hank, you coming too? Sucky, where were you? What the heck? Everybody went to Pawpaw's house? You get home. Come on. Let's go. Come on. It's time to go home. Y'all too. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Sook. Ah, uh, beagles. That's a whole nother video. Hank, Maggie, will you come home with me? Please. Thank you. All right, everyone. All is well. Another day on the farm.